Here we're going to tie a UV buzzer chronomid. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my thread started up here near the eye. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in some stretch tubing. This one we're going to use some chartreuse, but you can use red or orange or whatever you like. We're going to take that stretch tubing and we're going to wrap it around the shank of the hook. And then we're going to stop a little bit short of the thorax here. And I'm going to take a marker. I'm going to marker up about two inches of the tubing. Once I've got that color, I'm going to take one more wrap around the back. I'm going to take this tubing and I'm going to spiral it forward, segmenting the body. And once I get to the thorax again, I'm going to capture it. Now I can trim out the excess. Now, before we go on to the next step, I'm going to tie in the gills of the fly. For this, I'm going to use a CDC puff in white. And I don't necessarily need to use the whole puff. So I just split it up. I use about half of the puff. We're going to tie that in right near the eye of the hook. I'm trying to do so without touching the marker that we just markered on the body. It's kind of hard to not touch what you, you just did. I'm going to pull it to the desired length. Just want a little tuft. Just like so. I'm going to get in here and trim out the excess. Now we're going to tie in our flashback material for the back of the fly, the top of the fly I should say. For this I'm just going to use a piece of medium pearl mylar, tie it right on top, just like so. Now I'm ready to tie in the gills. For the gills, I'm just going to use a pink rubber leg. Tie this on, in on each side. Clean it all up here. Now, I'm going to take our thread towards the gill there. I'm going to take my thread and capture each rubber leg for the gill. I can take my mylar on top. Capture that. I'm 
going to pull these legs tight and trim them. Trim my mylar. Now I can whip finish. There we go. Now we're ready for the next step, which is to coat the fly with some fly finish. This is a UV set glue. I just put a little bit on my bodkin. I'm going to coat the entire fly except for the gill. Careful not to apply too much. Careful not to hit that CDC plume. Now, once we've got the entire fly coated, if you have some excess, I just take it off, I dry off my bodkin here with a piece of paper towel and I just draw off the rest of it little by little. There we go. And I usually draw it off of the bottom, just like so. And then you're ready to set the fly here with your lamp, your UV lamp. Just simply shine the lamp on the entire fly. This will set the glue. There we go. And that is the UV buzzer chronomid.